Journey Player 22. Let's vibe out to some Frank Ocean. Mm, okay, Frank. But I'm thinking about you. Ooh, no, no, no. I've been thinking about you. Ooh, no, no, no. I've been thinking about you. Do you think about me still? Do you? Do ya, do ya. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the journey part 22. It's your favorite beard man, the one, the only, Bobby. We out here in Hollywood, California, riding through the Uber streets. Had to pull over real quick. Wanted to make this nice little vlog to let all my bearded followers know I'm doing great. Today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that might see this. Not sure how many that is. A uh, special shout out to my mother. Thank you for being the guidance to getting me to where I am today and for putting up with all my shit. Thank you, I appreciate it. So shout out to Mother's Day. Great, great week. This past week, we launched the Bearded Man with the Ox Spotify playlist. Yes, I am now available on Spotify. Well, I've already been available, but now I have a playlist with all my dope-ass songs that I listen to from all these dope-ass artists. So, if you want to check that out, follow me on Spotify. Follow my page, Bearded Man with the Ox. I'll put that in the link description below. I'm going to just keep adding music into that playlist as time goes and just kind of see where that ends up. Wednesday, we ended up having episode 86 of Purpose in the Youth podcast with Ash Ketch, Live Your Day. Dream. I actually had met Ash through Instagram DM. I had sl slid right through to connect with her to hopefully get her on a pod back in November. Timing wasn't great. Ended up running into her at Complex Con. We reconnected and then got her on the pod. And she is a vlogger. She's a traveler. She's about kind of going green and making sure that as a business, everybody's sustainable. And so I think it's really important because of the world we live in today. But she's all about live your daydream. Whatever that daydream might be, live it. Like create it. Create the world that you want to live in. It is so easy to say and it sounds so good to hear but it is so difficult to do fortunately we live in a world where now I'm literally shooting this on my iPhone 7 and I'm making this vlog you pretty much have the tools to, to make that dream job you just got to go out and do it which is sometimes the hardest part have the confidence be willing to put in the work she's an example of it right now she just got back from Australia working at a festival called rad living she was out there for I think about four to five months now she's back in California for the summer but it was a super dope episode super dope podcast always connecting with dope people I mean what else do you expect from B.O.B. Bob A. the big man if you check out that podcast link in the description we ended up recording two pods this week so that was dope actually three pods recorded three pods this week because you know bob out here killing it thursday we released episode 19 of the breakfast to serve podcast orange lizard this week we go into uh the kanye west interview with charlamagne the god which i thought was pretty dope he said something that, I, that caught my attention he said uh bravery is more important than perfection when he what? said that, what really, does, what does that mean to you? It touched, it touched my heart. Okay. No, I, truthfully, it, uh, cause it, I think, uh, a lot of people can stress about being perfect about that thing they're doing. You're perfect about wanting to be, you know, great with your music. You want to be great with your clothing. I want to be great with the podcasting, but it's not, it's not always about What's the, the perfection. Bravery is more important than perfection. So the bravery of doing the thing or mm -hmm. doing whatever you want to do is really the most important part. It's more about going back to living your daydream, being willing to, you know, go out there and do the things that you want to do. Be brave enough to take that leap to just go for it uh, and not be worried about the perfection. That, that comes with time. These vlogs aren't the best. My podcast might not be the best, but the bravery of actually doing it is the hardest part. And then the perfection comes with the time. So if you're brave enough to do that, you'll be great. We also talked about Stranger Things. I crushed season one and two in seven days. I don't know how I managed it, but I just crushed it through. No more Netflix series for a little bit because I was just cruising through. And we also talked about Darius, our, our boy, Susboy Darius, left the content crib after five months sleeping on our couch. Darius, shout out to you, brother. You came out here and now he's living out here. He got his own apartment. So go into a lot of different things and you got to check out the episode if you want to know why it's named Orange Lizard. Okay, let's say there's an orange lizard that lives in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Friday, I released, I haven't done a The Way I See It vlog and, or video in a long time. And I created that series kind of just as a place where I could formally sit down and just talk about things and the way I see it, literally. Uh, and this week, I talked about mental health. I think there's a lot of things that are happening in this world that clearly we point and say, it's mental health, mental health. It needs to be talked about. And then nobody talks about it. And I want this vlog to be a piece of a lot of, I want this vlog to be one small piece in this major puzzle that we are all trying to, to bring together. And I'm going to do my role to hopefully give value and to, to talk to people. Now, mental health, I think, is something that clearly is talked about. It, it, there's a lot of things in the media, you know, certain things happen in this world and we talk about it, we talk about it, and then all these other things happen in this world. I'm mentally healthy, I'm physically healthy, I'm great, but I talk about how even being great for the most part, there are times throughout the day or throughout the week where I kind of, I just, there's like a little thing in my head that's like, uh, you, you shouldn't be doing this, uh, you should give up on this, and I think that's just part of, of dreaming big and chasing dreams. Like, you have 
have one shoulder, you have the angel that's like telling you you're doing the right thing. But then on the other shoulder, you have the devil that's like telling you like you're not doing the right things. And I think that's just a mental game that people go through. And people have bigger mental issues, mental problems. And I wanted to talk about it. I just, I want, I think, I want to get mental health to be something that's cool. That's something that people can just talk to you about. Or, you know, I'm very open about meditating and how much that helps me on a day-to-day -day basis. Shout out to Headspace. Check that out. They don't pay me, but I believe in the product. And meditation has just been something that's tremendously helped me. So I just go into a little bit about that, about mental health and my two cents and how I think people can better themselves if they're not in a great headspace. So if you want to check out that video, let's talk about mental health. Link is in the description below. Then we got Uber story of the week. It's like the friggin' ESPN. I should add that sound bite. Uh, Uber story of the week. It felt bad, but uh, Friday night, I picked up a gentleman from a, what happened to be a date, a catfish date. And if you know what that means, my man went into this date thinking it was one girl, found out the girl that he had been texting and talking to that he met online was not the actual girl. And I felt terrible. Anyway, my man Juan, was it, was sitting next to me. He was just kind of bummed out. And I said, Juan, for my man Juan, we had to stop at the liquor store. He got catfish tonight, was on a date, wasn't the right girl. So I said, Juan, he got this weekend plenty of fish in the sea. Bob A dropped gems for the man. Life's good, plenty of fish in the sea. You need to get back out there this weekend, and I hope he did this weekend, but that's definitely the Uber store of the week. Just, uh, my man got catfished. I don't know what else to say. Ladies and gentlemen, you gotta be careful with who you meet online and go through some safety checks, okay? If they're sending you pictures, have them send a picture of like your name, your full name on a piece of paper, like, hey, Juan, it's me. Like, I'm actually a real person. I'm not just from the internet. So I guess that was kind of like the Uber store of the week. Might start adding those in. I think people like the Uber stuff. I, I need to kind of get into more of that content, but it just, it just happens. Happens. I wish you could do like a live show. Welcome to Bob A's Uber. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. That's it. You know, journey 22 already. That's, we're, we're cruising along, ladies and gentlemen. Everything's going smooth. Everything's going great. We're crushing dreams. I guess the little gem for this week is just keep doing your thing. I saw Jacob Owens, a videographer, filmmaker, photographer, huge influencer. I saw him post something the other day on his Instagram story and it was like, focus on one task at a time, then move on to the next. And that one little post like struck my heart. In a way of, I've seen that a million times, but it, that is something that's so easy to forget. We have all these things we want to do and we have all these tasks and all all these millions of things going on that it, we, we get anxious and we start thinking about what's next and how when do I have to do this and I'm in the gym and I'm all excuse me all I'm thinking about is the video I have to edit after and then I'm when I'm doing the video I'm thinking about the podcast I have to edit after that focus on one task at a time ladies and gentlemen take this from this video take this away write it down if you need to put it on a, on the wall in your bedroom put it as your back on, on your phone focus on one task at a time then move on to the next one task move on to the next one task move on to the next put all of your time and energy into that one thing put all of your attention into it. It will create the best product. You will get things done much faster and you will just enjoy that process instead of stressing out about getting to the next thing and then getting to that next thing and stressing more out to get to the next thing and it keeps going and it's just a domino effect. Focus on one task at a time, then move on to the next. That is super important and something that I remind myself as I'm out here Ubering these streets and I want to get to that next thing. I'm like, yo, Bob A, you just got to keep cruising. Just keep Ubering. Focus on this and then you'll get to the next thing. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got to say. As I always say, stay humble, stay passionate, follow your dreams. It is so cliche to say but honestly i am a representation of i'm trying to do it i'm documenting that way as i'm here in the uber office yeah, 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 yeah. people are looking at me like this guy's like he's out of his mind yeah, kind of and that's it i hope you guys have a great week ahead of you and uh just keep doing it keep doing your thing and we'll see you next week on the journey part 23 we're gonna keep cruising see you, see you, see you, see you. peace